Hello, my friends, and welcome to Mystic Butterfly Podcast. I am Jana, your host and the founder of Mystic Butterfly, guide to your true self. Thank you so much for tuning in, for listening, and for being part of the Mystic Butterfly community. I really appreciate every single one of you. I have an exciting topic for you today, and it has been inspired by the famous quote by Pablo Picasso, everything you can imagine is real. And I'm going to repeat this because I want you to remember it. Everything you can imagine is real. And it can be real. Did you ever have a dream that you could see so clearly in your mind and at the same time you could feel within the whole level of your being that one day, no matter what others say, you will make it a reality? And one day you actually did. Today I am going to give you some tips on manifesting. I will give you some tools which can help you in the process of making your dreams come true, because I believe this is so important. We are here for a reason, and I believe many of our dreams come to us. I believe actually all of our dreams come to us for a reason, and it is our responsibility to pursue those dreams. So let's begin. Manifesting. Manifesting is a subject which attracts many people these days. More and more people are realizing how powerful they really are. Many are discovering that their thoughts and beliefs, but most importantly, the emotions they put underneath these thoughts and beliefs, create their reality. And as far as this is true, there is a little bit more to it, of course, but I will get back to that later. I am currently in the process of manifesting too. Well, in a way, I am always manifesting something. So I'm going to share with you some tools which I find very useful at the moment in the process of manifesting. I would also like to suggest that you do your own research beside what I'm about to tell you. Different points of view always resonate with different people and what I'm about to suggest here might resonate with some of you but not with all of you and that's okay. Take what feels right to you and leave the rest out. The reason I am sharing this with you is because I want to support you in following your dreams. Your dreams matter and if I can inspire you in this process, I'd love to do that. There are also so many teachers around the entire world who teach classes, workshops, and write books specifically about manifesting. So if this is something you are interested in, please check them out. I personally attended several of those courses and read many books on the subject, and they really inspired me and served me well. First of all, I would like you to know that your dreams can definitely come true, no matter how impossible they might appear to others. Believe in yourself and believe in your dreams. These dreams came to you for a reason, like I said, and it's up to you whether you choose to go for them or you allow somebody's opinion discourage you. Remember, the choice is always yours. If something is impossible for somebody, it doesn't mean it needs to be impossible for you too. So keep that in mind. The great thing about manifesting is it is actually quite a fun and a creative process. I have so many stories about how I manifested some incredible things into my life. And one of my favorite ones is about getting my private pilot's license. So during my pilot training, uh, beside all the flying, studying and the exams I had to do, I would also use visualization to help me bring this dream into reality. I would use visualization on a daily basis. So what I would do, I would find a comfortable place for about five to ten minutes where I am not going to be disturbed and I would close my eyes and I would visualize. 
So what I did, I was engaging all my senses into this visualization. So besides the daily hard work I had to put into my training, I made sure I included those moments of visualization to help me bring my dream into reality. So what did I visualize? I visualize how I'm flying the plane. I visualize how I'm taking off, how I'm landing, talking on the radio to the air traffic control, how I'm setting the flaps on the approach to landing, adjusting the throttle, scanning the flying instruments, and everything I could think of. I was feeling the feelings like all of this was already happening now. Then I came out of my visualization and I continued to feel those positive feelings and keeping these positive images in my mind. So this is just a brief example of how can visualization assist you in the process of making your dreams come true. But let me give you some tools now. There are five steps I am using in the process of manifesting right now and I think they can serve you well. So, the five steps are, number one, clarity. Number two, belief. Number three, feeling. Number four, releasing. And number five, action. And I suggest you write those down. So I'm going to repeat them for you. Clarity, belief, feeling, releasing, and actions. And I'm going to break them down for you now and tell you why I believe they are important. Number one, clarity. Ask yourself, what would you like to manifest? Become very clear about what you desire. This is a very important step. You need to be specific here. Here is an example. Let's say you want to manifest a dream holiday. To have clarity means being specific about this particular desire. So now you need to start asking yourself some questions about this holiday. Where would you like to go? When would you like this to happen? Is it in the summer? Is it in the winter? Which airline would you like to fly with to your destination? Where are you staying? What kind of adventures are you experiencing on your holiday? And if it helps, get pen and paper and write it all down. Be as specific as possible. Clarity is a very big step in the manifestation process, so do not skip it. And I just want to point out the holiday example is just a rough example. And there are far more important things you would want to manifest probably. But what I'm trying to say by this simple example is how important clarity is. So be clear what you want. Number two, believe. You have to believe that your dream is possible for you. You have to believe in your ability to make it happen. Who is going to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself? So believe that you are worthy of receiving what you desire. So when I was learning to fly, I had to believe in myself and I absolutely did. There were many difficulties and obstacles I had to embrace during that time, but I believed in myself and I knew I am more than capable of achieving my dream, even though it was tough at times. So belief is very important. Believe in yourself. Number three, feeling. You have to feel your dream is manifesting now. You have to feel it within the whole level of your being. So start to visualize and experience the feelings you want to be feeling once your dream is manifested. Feel them now. Going back to our example of a dream holiday. Feel what it would feel like to fly on an airliner to your destination. Feel where you are sitting. Is it next to a window or do you have an aisle seat? How are you feeling Are you excited? Are you happy? Are you talking to somebody? What does it feel like arriving at your hotel room and seeing the beautiful view on the ocean from your balcony? 
So use your imagination and create a picture in your mind what you would like to experience. Make it as real and as vivid as possible. Apply all your senses to this in this process. So visualize and feel the experience as if it was already happening right now. Feel it even if it's only for a few seconds. This is a very powerful tool. Number four, releasing. When we are trying to manifest something in our lives, we often hold on so much to the outcome. And you have to remember some things are easier to manifest and others take more time. So you have to be patient. Don't get discouraged or disappointed when you don't see it materialize straight away. Don't let anything or anyone distract you. Release the worry of how and when to the care of the universe. Be patient and relaxed about the outcome. And also be open to any other possibilities. And this is very important. The universe works in a mysterious ways. And when you really understand this, the manifesting becomes so much easier. Trusting, knowing, and letting the universe to bring the desire to you the best way is right for you equals a successful manifesting. So be open to anything and don't be attached or obsessed about the outcome. It might arrive in a very unexpected and magical way. It's great to have clarity, like I said at the beginning, but sometimes when you are manifesting something, you might be led to something so much better, so much greater, maybe to a new dream, which may excite you even more. So trust the process. And that actually happened to me quite a few times. One example is my coaching. I always knew I wanted to help people and inspire people. In 2012, I incorporated a company called High Flyer Coach, which I still have and might still do something with it in the future. So, When I started this company, it was all about supporting future pilots and people who were on the path of achieving their dreams. As a result of that, many amazing opportunities came into my life. I have been featured in the Loop Flying magazine and the Flight School Times, and these publications found me through my website and social media and wanted to interview me because they could feel my passion for flying and also the support I was giving to future aviators and helping them to believe in themselves. But uh, being on this path, learning and aligning more and more to the truth of who I really am, I became very interested in the spiritual side of life. I started taking courses related to spirituality, healing, meditation, and I was called to start teaching those techniques and these kind of courses to others. And they were really resonating with myself. I wanted to educate others about what I was learning and remembering the truth of who I really am, besides sharing the other inspiring messages which were helping people to achieve their dreams, which I still do anyway. As a result of this, many of my social media followers became surprised about the sudden change and some of them didn't understand it. Flying is still my passion, and I am so grateful to have such an amazing hobby. But I believe becoming a spiritual teacher is truly my mission in this lifetime. And I am so excited about it. So this is how I was led to create Mystic Butterfly, which has a similar positive message as High Flyer Coach, but it feels more right for me and what I'd like to share with the world. So be open to any possibilities and don't be attached to any specific outcomes. And remember, this is not in conflict with having clarity. The first step, having clarity, is uh, absolutely crucial and you need to be clear what you want. But also be open to something better which might come along the way as you learn more and as you experience more. 
you are always learning and always growing. And you are not the same person you were a year ago, a month ago, week ago, even five minutes ago. So after a while, you might want slightly different things. And that's okay. You might want something completely different when you were in your 30s than when you were in your 20s. The most important thing is to stay true to yourself and to do what feels right to you. Okay, number five, action. Please remember, even though I am talking about action as the last step is not really the last one. This step should be taken every single day while you are manifesting besides the other manifestation steps then the whole process will flow very nicely and naturally together and the results will be steadily revealing themselves to you. So you must take action. Nothing's going to happen when you only sit on the sofa and visualize all day. You must take action. So what can you do today to take action? You can start reading a book on the subject you are interested in. You can make a phone call, you can go for a walk, you can take a class. Remember to take action. And while taking action, you need to also trust and know the universe is always working and supporting you along the way. Notice any signs and synchronicities around you and follow them if they feel right to you. They can be your greatest guides. So these are the five steps. Clarity. Belief, feeling, releasing, and action. And I have some final but very important points about manifesting. When you begin, start with small things first, which are believable to you. And this will strengthen your belief system and your manifesting will become more natural. The other thing is don't manipulate other people. Example. Many people want to manifest romantic relationships or even specific people into their lives. This doesn't always resonate with the other person's truth and what they want to do. So remember, every soul came here with a free will. They choose what they want to do and what they want to experience. So be mindful of this and please don't try to manipulate other people when you are manifesting. If you want to manifest your soulmate, Trust and know that he or she is on the way to you and will appear when the time is right for both of you. And the last thing is to trust. The universe is always on your side and wants you to enjoy your life to the fullest. Be aware of it and always trust and know that what is meant for you will always find its way to you. If something doesn't work out the way you want, Trust and know there is something so much better coming your way and it is for your highest good and for the highest good of everyone involved. And remember this, for the highest good of everyone involved. So let's just do a little recap. Be clear what you want. Believe in yourself. Visualize on a daily basis and feel good about that. Let it go and release it to the care of the universe. Don't obsess about the outcome and take daily action. Everything is energy. Your thought begins it. Your emotion amplifies it. And your action increases its momentum. Remember that. So are you ready to start manifesting now? Use those steps if they resonate with you and let me know how you got on. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please feel free to email me. My email address is jana at mysticbutterfly.co.uk, jana with a J, so jana at mysticbutterfly.co.uk. To find out more about my work, please check out my website, which is mysticbutterfly.co.uk. And you can also get my ebook, The Art of Living in Your Truth, there just by going to mysticbutterfly.co.uk forward slash Yana's book. So that's it for today, my friends. Happy manifesting. Let me know how you got on. 
Thank you so much for tuning in, for listening, and I'm looking forward to be speaking with you again in the next episode of Mystic Butterfly Podcast. Have a wonderful day.